Before we start the reaction video, always remember to support the original content creator by using the links in the description below. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Axel Grave back with more reactions with an X, and today we are continuing our Ruby journey on to Ruby chapter 12 of volume 5, I think. I'm fairly certain. Uh, I'm excited for it. We just left off at a really tense part after Weiss had gotten stabbed through the thing and everyone freaked out randomly because no one ever gets stabbed in a fight, guys. Never. <laughs> Once again, you can be angry, sad, or things, but you shouldn't be shocked when you get stabbed in a fight because that shit happens. All right, let's, uh, let's get into it. As always, support Rooster Teeth and Ruby uh, by checking out the links below to their playlist and website, etc. If you like you know what you're watching hit the like button smash the subscribe button and comment some critiques or some compliments either one I'm super fine with I can always improve please let me know how I can improve and I'll do my best uh, I'm gonna keep trying to like make sure I don't miss things and pull in as much information as I can from what's going on uh, for instance like I don't know how I missed that Lionheart was a faunus until that last episode I just never saw his tail or it was I wasn't focusing on his lower half, and it was it's less conspicuous than say, you know, uh, even Blake's cat ears. It's like just not full up in your front face, so I, I, I mean, I had no clue. Uh, having said that, let's get into it. I'm super excited to see how they can possibly deal with all these people that are way stronger than them. Like they should theoretically, unless Ruby's like goes into her ultra god mode powers that haven't been explained, they should be screwed. They're so screwed. Every one of these people, right, is as strong as that scorpion dude, which is theoretically as strong. Well, not everyone. Maybe not uh, Emerald and uh, Mercury. Emerald and Mercury are most likely not as strong as... Why are you surprised? Did you come here thinking you had the advantage? Or maybe that's Oscar, though. That might be Oscar and not... I'm thinking of it as Ozpin, right? Because Ozpin's in his body. But that's probably Oscar freaking out because he is not battle trained and hardened like Ozpin should be. Funny though that he did take him down. That's not just a boy. It's Ozpin. He's already reincarnated. Ozpin. See, he didn't notice the cane. People miss details. Uh oh, he has a grudge, huh? He has a big grudge. It seems like the the tense violin rises. Oh no! You thought you could hide from me? He's just ripping his clothes off. Is he gonna stab those into himself? Yep. Do, do we fight? No, run. Told you they might have to book it. Nice voice change. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. But right now we've got the upper hand. Let's not waste it. Leo! Open the path to the vault. Such as like killing if everybody and then doing what you need to do. Once again, the villainy is sometimes never as ruthless as I'd hope. Ah, oh, cool, interesting. That's nice. That's a really cool thing. I don't know why that maiden's face face reminds me of Pyrrha. The maybe it's not a maiden, but the statue. I just assume that statue is a statue of a maiden. How is she going to stop them? You're going to right? Get all of us. But he's not really there. And depending on how uh, intense that goes, there are ways to pass up illusions and situations. Yeah, that is a bad spot to get caught. Anytime through this midsection is awful. <laughs> Ruby has to stay alive. So they're part of her plan too? And so their plan is to betray her, right? And take the Oscar, actual artifact no. and use it to protect themselves. Oscar, I told you, no! Please let me take over. I can handle it. 
You told me I needed to fight for myself. So I will. This is not your fight. What does that mean? Why is he so upset with us? I didn't tell you my tale anymore. I thought you both fought for me. The thing that evil was inside you when our paths first crossed. She enrolled at Beacon Academy to become a huntress, and tragically lost her life on a training mission. Hazel holds me responsible. Please, let me fight. I know Hazel. He's wounded in a way that cannot be healed. You know now. Only you can forgive me for what I'm about to do. Did she know? Did she know the risk of being a huntress? She was only a child! She wasn't ready! She made a choice! A choice to put others before herself! So do I. And you've chosen death. I'm so Just like she did? What? Oh! What was it supposed to be like? What was it just gonna be this perfect fairy tale in your head? I just don't get like that, like the assumption that everything's gonna go right. Oh, special power. Does he have a healing power? Or is that her power? Does she have a special healing power? She doesn't look very happy or confident. sure anyone knows how many years is about to open a book i would say it's quite but there's supposed to be four of them and they reincarnate when the others die so where are the no, other two right they're still alive all i care about is my children, I don't know, my family this is a which is fine oh, you've conditioned her quite well raven Now let's talk about the difference between a gift and a curse. Ooh, that is awesomely animated. It's like starfish in the tree. It's not starfish, but it looked like it for a second. What is it? It's really tough for me to tell as it moves. Just flowers, I guess. That looks cool. That's nice. Good animation. Fun styling. It's certainly grander than beacons. I wonder what the extra effort was for. Right? Henley, please not linger. After you. Fucking camera. I really hate it when it does that. We're just going to go back and pause it for a moment since these are on the same recording and we can just leave it and hopefully cut it out but yeah sorry about this guys it's acting like a total fucking bitch makes no fucking sense it's on and it's plugged in and there should be power fucking stupid like dumb retarded Really gotta fix that crap, dude. Like, badly. Good Canon, because it's the program on Canon that's not like wanting to keep registering. My camera never shuts off. It's Canon's stupid fucking program. And then there's this stupid fucking thing. There you go. We'll do the cut from there. Fucking ridiculous, yo. 
Really hope this other thing's recording down here. Yep, alright. <laughs> Just checking the time real quick. Alright, the Ozpin fight with, uh, well, Oscar Pin. Super Smash. It is coming from him. Nice healing. Which would not have saved Pierre, unfortunately. Rest in peace. Damn you, Cinder! But if you know, you should know by now they're illusions. At least some of them. That's the thing, you know they're illusions out there. Because you've seen them appearing and disappearing. So you've got to combat them with that in mind. Doesn't mean you can win. But there's a difference between fighting something with no knowledge. Oh, that just gave him a heavy ass fucking blow of damage. Whatever you're doing, don't stop. I won't. Good. Oscar needs help. I'm Why did she... John and Weiss still need cover. Why did she pull his hands off then? I don't what? So what's Ruby gonna do? She's gonna have to go super special mode. Team Ranger. And that was the other thing, a two on one. She's probably gonna win. No matter what, no matter how she fought. But once again, you got distracted by Raven when you knew Raven had already left. And she would have been accompanied with those two theoretically coming back. Why wouldn't she? So you, you should have known that that particular one is like, Raven's over there? Wait, she just has illusions. It's like if your dead grandpa showed up out of nowhere. It just doesn't make sense. It makes more sense than your dead grandpa showing up, I'll admit. Those are beautiful. Having fun? For now, I'll stay focused. Oh, come now, Raven. Let her enjoy this. It's a once-in-a-lifetime experience. I feel like that means that her... Once the Spring Maiden places her hand on the door, it will open. For you... It cannot be that simple, right? Only you. Then I will want like, there's gotta be some kind of price or something else. No one else. Is that clear? Yes. It doesn't matter to us. Let's get this over with. All right then, Vernal. See, Raven being one of the small, smart ones. Like she's actually playing both sides. She's not just playing the one. Granted, I do think it would be a smarter decision to use group tactics to take down a definite threat. But no, I've heard so many stories about you, Raven. They say you're a cunning leader. That you're strong. That you're they just disappear after a certain time. Interesting. Yeah, there's got to be a bigger price to pay. It's a shame that they're wrong. And once she had told you how to do it, why wouldn't you have just killed her? Once again, a bit unbelievable. You're just not worthy of such power. But I am. Help! 
So what's our excuse for this one? I'm waiting for you guys to make excuses again. Like, why wouldn't Raven have killed her immediately after getting the information she needed? What well, one? Where's the power? She took it. There we go. Now that's clever. She's the Raven. She's the Spring Maiden. That's a nice twist. And I had talked about that earlier, but they played it off really good there. They tricked me for sure. So that's the excuse. She's not the Spring Maiden. That's how she was able to just take down that Spring Maiden like no problem. Uh, and once again, wasn't able to take down the actual Spring Maiden, no problem. But again, if once she told her, right, once Cinder told her how to open the door, theoretically she could have been lying, right? I guess. So you wanted to wait to see if the door actually opened. But otherwise, once you get the information you need, you 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 take the element of surprise for sure. Having said that, she is still a very prudent person, shifting off the uh, different stuff uh, to somebody else to pretend that they are in fact the Spring Maiden. That's genius stuff. That's really smart. Uh, I Like I said, I probably respect her and John right now more than most of the other characters who are making like even the villains in in the sense that all right well let's hurry and run it's like you have basically all of your known threats are in this room including Ospin and you have tactical superiority at the moment uh excluding Ruby's mystery god mode powers you have tactical superiority in that situation why would you not eliminate all threats and then continue on with your mission right Granted, you also, obviously, they, you have the people with Blake coming from, uh, fuck, I can't remember the name right now, but they don't necessarily know that or when or when that'll happen, so I don't understand why the villains aren't more cruel and ruthless in their goals of, like, taking out their enemies. They said they wanted to keep Ruby alive, and obviously Ospin just dies and comes back. But you have one, two, three, four, five, like six other threats in the room that you could easily get rid of right there. I mean, obviously they're pawns, but once again, uh, I'm a little disappointed in the ruthlessness a bit somewhat of some of these criminals of like not finishing off. Obviously, if you finish off people, they can't be written in the story anymore. But I really want villains like we had in the last one where it's like, oh, yeah, Pyrrha, goodbye. You know what I mean? She didn't have to kill Pyrrha at all. She, she never had to kill Pyrrha. She <laughs> killed Pyrrha because she's a jerk. You know, Cinder, not Pyrrha, but Cinder killed Pyrrha because Cinder's a jerk, right? Which I like villains who are jerks, right? Who just kill people and do bad things and are not like foibles of like, ah, as I describe my evil plan, I am foiled by the villain you know what I mean? Which was one of the best parts about the early Sinner stuff is they really didn't like lay out any, they weren't big like plans of like, oh, you're going out and getting messed up. But either way, I enjoyed watching it and they once again always throw a loop at me so that I'm not getting everything I expect and I'm always like surprised by something, which is a sign of good writing in many cases. If you enjoy it and you're surprised, you know what I mean? That's a good, good writing for you. Um, I'm enjoying it a bunch. I can't wait till we get to this next episode 13 and we're very close to finishing the season So I'm happy about it. I hope you guys are too. We'll see you on the next episode of reactions with an X Remember to support Ruby and Rooster Teeth in the links below and you can support us by liking commenting subscribing or checking out our discord or patreon Where you can come chat it up or get early access to things uh, But I'll see you guys next time Thanks everyone for watching another episode of Reactions with an X with me, your host Axel Grave. I appreciate every single view and every single comment on these videos. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit like to show your support and hit subscribe to see more reaction videos. If you like the other content we do on the channel, remember to hit the little bell and press all to see all of our videos. Finally, if you wanted to leave us a comment or a suggestion on other material we to do or just to rip us to shreds, Leave a note in the comments and we'll try to get back to you.